On Thursday morning, angry judges and lawyers gathered outside the main courthouse of Tunis. They're protesting President Syed's plan to dissolve the High Judicial Council, a constitutional body that appoints and assigns judges. The judiciary can only be reformed in a politically peaceful and stable period and within a constitutional framework which guarantees inclusive dialogue. Unfortunately, with this decision, Qais Syed chose escalation and an easy solution which risks destroying the country. President Syed has accused the council of being partisan and corrupt. He claims it's blocked investigations into the assassination of leftist legislators Chokri Belaid and Mohamed Brahimi in 2013. The CSM High Judicial Council doesn't intervene in court cases. That's against the independence of the judiciary and judges. The CSM manages the careers of judges and that's totally different. Foreign diplomats have expressed concern over the president's decision. In an exceptional period, state institutions need to be maintained, especially the CSM, which is the biggest pillar of the Tunisian democratic system. It's the biggest guarantor of the continuity of democracy and the guarantor of individual and collective freedoms in Tunisia. Faced with so much outcry, President Syed appeared to backtrack Wednesday night, saying he wanted to hold on to the council as an institution. However, he repeated his decision to dissolve it during a government meeting on Thursday. This week, police have blocked judges from entering the council headquarters.